Good morning, go-getters. It's time to wake up to living life on your own terms. Welcome to FU Money Mornings with me, Brent Attaway, where we talk business, marketing, sales, leadership, and pretty much anything that helps us create more FU Money and live in an amazing FU Money lifestyle. Let's dive in. Today, we're diving into a strategy that's going to supercharge your productivity, and I call it the 100-day hustle. Look, have you ever felt overwhelmed by long-term goals? If so, this episode is your ticket to momentum, to focus, and really to some serious results. So let's just jump in and get right to it. So first up is let's talk about the magic of deadlines. So why 100-day deadlines? Simple answers are deadlines, one, create urgency, and urgency will spark action. And it's also why 100 days is is long enough to see significant progress, but short enough to feel that fire under your feet. Think of it as the sweet spot between like a marathon and a sprint, for instance. An example here that I've done, and I've learned a portion of this or kind of borrowed from a book called The 12 Week Year. You can go look that up. Um, I have the audio book and the, the printed version. And it's a great book, but one of the things that I got out of it that was awesome is this concept of shortening the horizon. So in other words, their concept is a 12-week year will help you get more done in 12 weeks than most people do in a year. And 100 days is the same type of thing. When you do a 100-day hustle, you have shortened the horizon to, hey, in 100 days, you can get done what most people would probably in a year if if you follow the following steps that I'm about to show you. So that's the first thing is understand the power of deadlines and why 100 days. Now, before you start that 100 day hustle, you've got to pick your main priority, the one that you're going to focus on. This isn't the time to juggle priorities or juggle ideas and and switch tasks between things and and call yourself a multitasker because you should also read the book called The Myth of Multitasking by Dave Crenshaw if you have that issue. Um, that man used to be my coach personally over a decade ago to help me stay focused and um, is amazing. But what I'm bringing that up for is please don't take pride in multitasking. That is not good. That is not a good thing. Um, what you want to do is focus Um, especially as anybody in a leadership position, or maybe you're one of those entrepreneurs that say, hey, I have ADHD and I'm diagnosed with this. And I've noticed a lot of people take pride for some reason in that. When really there is a solution to thinking more clearly, and it is a practice for everyone to think more clearly. Um, If you have ADHD, by the way, I'm not saying that's not a problem. I'm just trying to say, uh, don't make it worse by juggling projects, make it focused, have it written down. It's time to hone in on one project, one goal, one dream that's going to make the biggest impact in 100 days. So this is where you choose your main priority. Um, An action item here is you could grab a pen and paper right now and jot down your top three goals that you might pick from in 100 days. And what you do is just say, and you might need to write down more than three, by the way, I like to do mind maps. If you ever ask my team, I'm all about mind maps. And um, I might say, okay, goals. What am I thinking of over the next 100 days that I want to accomplish? And it starts with big chunks. Well, I want to do this. I want to do that. I want to do this. And then suddenly I break those down and it creates even smaller goals and smaller goals. And finally, it helps me just understand what am I really trying to do and accomplish? And I can highlight if I'm on a pen and paper or if I'm just on like I use a, a tool called Whimsical. Um, online and I mind map my ideas out. Well, eventually I get to the point where I want to highlight the things that I want to focus on in that 100 days. That's what I'm asking you to do. Just what's your main priority? After you brain dump everything, find the one that's, okay, over 100 days, this is my main priority. Now it's about step three, which is outlining clear, achievable goals with that priority. So let's call that 100-day focus, this sprint, this hustle that you're going to do. Let's say you pick this big chunk of a thing. Um, for me, we have a, um, a CRM called CRMX. And so over 100 days, I want to add 100 subscribers. Let's say that's my hustle. I'm just making this up right now, guys. But still, let's say over 100-day hustle, I'm going to get 100 subscribers to CRMX. Okay, great. That's my main clear, achievable goal. 
or priority, but how can I break that down into smaller chunks? What milestones do I have to do or hit over the next hundred days? And it's, it's going to be important that I'm specific. I'm ambitious with it, but importantly, I need to be realistic. Is 100 subscribers realistic over 100 days? And the answer is absolutely yes. That's one a day, and that's actually where we need to be at all times anyways for our company. So that seems very realistic. But what it does is allow us to then not miss a day, not miss a beat, right? So I'm like, okay, that'll push us. That'll be good. That's ambitious. So how do I go about it and break this down? So what I would do is say, I'm going to break my main priority of 100 subscribers over the next 100 days into 10 milestones, one for every 10 days. It just makes it easy math. It makes it very functional. It makes it easy for you to focus and remember, oh, it's been 10 days. We should have had 10 subscribers in this case, right? This will give you a clear roadmap for your hustle. So outlining clear achievable goals. The last thing here, or no, actually second last thing, is staying laser focused and avoiding distractions. So you've got your roadmap. And the hard part is staying focused. The roadmap is the first step and it does give you a lot of momentum, but the hard part is now staying focused on that. So distractions are the enemy of the 100 day hustle, whether it's social media, Netflix, or some kind of binge thing you're going to do and you get distracted, you're staying up too late, all that stuff. Um, maybe even just a nice weekend and or a nice week where you want to take it off and you know you shouldn't. But I think most people get distracted, not maybe by social media. I, I get that. And maybe by Netflix, what most people, including myself, we like to distract ourselves with more goals, with more projects as if one wasn't enough. One big goal wasn't enough, right? Now we stack another one and we another one. You can ask my um, assistant and right-hand gal, Madison. I drive her crazy. I'm sure Madison, if you're listening, you're probably laughing, but like, I'm like, Hey Madison. And we already sit really clear goals and all or clear goals. And all of a sudden I'm like, Hey, we should also do this over the next month. And she's thinking, Oh great. Here we go. Right. We have to reel Brent back in. And so the point is, is don't get distracted. That's helped me tremendously is I've had, and just recently I had to reel things back in. I'm like, okay, slow down, reel it back in. My goal is this. And now we're focused on that. And it's really helped me have a lot more peace of mind, frankly. And so laser focus, avoiding distraction, that's how you stay on track. Identify your top, let's say, three distractions and come up with a strategy to like preempt them, to combat those things. Like, okay, I know that Netflix is a distraction for me because they, uh, this isn't real for me, I guess. But like, let's say it's Netflix. Um, what what else is there as real for me? Uh, social media it could be a distraction to me. Um, anything else, and all you need to do is write those things down, and then make sure that you turn off notifications, for instance, or spe um, set specific work hours that you won't check anything else. That you're only going to focus on this hustle, okay? And then for me too, I have a dedicated workspace. I work from home. I've worked from home my whole life, but I have an office that's dedicated. And when my office door is shut. People know, in my family, I have teenagers and a wife, and this whole time that I've worked from home, they've been little kids, and they know that it's time to work when I'm in here and the door is shut. And they know to knock, and they know not to distract me in certain hours. And so that's how I really, really stay laser focused and avoid distractions. And frankly, it's why I personally get probably a lot more done than the majority of people, just because of that fact. I just stay focused. Um... By the way, that might sound bad. I What I'm trying to say is um, I do stay focused more than majority of people, but I'm not without distraction. <laughs> and I think the key for me on a side note here that might be more relatable is I'm constantly doing course corrections. I'm like a plane. An airplane, I don't know if you know this, if you look and you ask a pilot in general, you can look this up statistically, the airplane's actually off track majority of the time when it takes off from point A to point B, let's say it's flying from, you know, Panama City, um, Florida, which is one of where I fly from, and then let's say I was going to like San Diego, California. Well, that plane has a route, but it's constantly course correcting all the way there because of wind and because of this or that, other things that come up. It's, con it's going in the general direction, but it, it'll go off direction for a minute. Now, if it stayed off, it would arrive in a completely destination, right? But it's always course correcting, constantly, constantly, the whole way there, and eventually we arrive even on time. And so all I'm saying is that's a great example of what I'm talking about here. Stay focused, but don't 
feel like you can't get distracted, just remember to snap back into focus. Remember every day you're checking in with your 100-day hustle here, okay? Now, last but not least, you've got to track your progress. So this is simple, but do it. This is important. So celebrate the wins, learn from the losses, and don't be afraid to adjust that course as needed. So what I would do here, the action item is set up a weekly check-in for your 100-day hustle. So this could be a journal entry, a chat with your mentor, or even a shout out on social media that you're saying, hey, I'm checking in. It's something to keep yourself accountable, and a weekly is a good idea. So there you have it, folks. That's a 100-day hustle. It's your ticket to turbocharge your productivity and some serious results. If you're ready to take on the challenge, hit that subscribe button, join the FU Money community, and let's crush those goals together. And that's a wrap on another FU Money Morning. Look, if you're hungry for more, remember, you can join us in the free FU Money community and let's make those dreams a reality. Just go to ilovefumoney.com to join the community now. Until next time, keep living life on your own terms.